in one of the driest parts of Utah. We are resilient and we can bloom here in the desert. I'm Ben Winslow in St. George. Community groups are partnering together for a first ever showcase of desert friendly landscaping that's beautiful, simple, and easy for you to do. And watch your step through here. Amy Long shows me her yard. This was all originally just a big flat lawn. It was once a lot of non-functional turf. That's grass you really don't use. Now we've got a lot of things that bloom. Um, food for all of our pollinators, the bees, the birds, the butterflies. We actually have hummingbirds here year round. It's a more natural desert friendly landscape with ground cover, shrubs and trees. Oleanders for shade, some of the bigger trees closer to the house to help shade the front of the house and keep it cooler. So it'll save us on air conditioning too. It's also saving her a lot of money on her water bill. In the summer, we would spend close to, you know, $200, a little over $200 a month on water. Yeah for the lawn, both front and back, because it had to be watered, you know, almost daily when we get into the, the hundreds here. Now I will say we're spending like less than 50 bucks a month on water in the peak seasons. Long's new yard is being showcased in an effort to get more people to switch to water saving landscaping. 50% of the water that we use here in Washington County is used for outdoor irrigation. Conservation is the best first step you can take. It's the most efficient and effective in order to create more water. The group Conserve Southwest Utah is joining with the Washington County Water Conservancy District and local nurseries to highlight the best desert gardens. The Parade of Gardens is like Southern Utah's famous Parade of Homes, but for water conservation. It's an exciting way to help people become inspired by seeing what's going on behind the walls of some of the most exciting gardens in, a, in our region. People will see a number of home landscaping options that show what's possible, how it can save money and save water. When they come to these gardens, we want them to feel like they're learning something. We're, we're going to offer them uh, plant lists and ideas, you know, for what they can do. They can see people, people who have dogs or children, they still want to have a little bit of grass. And so they do that and you can if you do it in a balanced way for long, getting rid of her lawn was about convenience. We really wanted to create a more sustainable landscape that number one didn't require us to mow every week or pay someone else to mow the lawn every week. Um, something that would provide like a natural habitat for birds and bees and lots of plants that are natural pollinators in our environment here. We wanted all low water use plants. It cost her about $19,000 to do all her landscaping front and back, but she got money from the Washington County Water Conservancy District. The rebate program that Washington County was offering covered just about a third of the costs of redoing the landscaping. So for us, that was really the impetus that pushed it over the edge. What we're seeing right now among our customers that are engaging in our conversion program is they're paying about $5 per square foot to have lawns demolished and new landscaping go in on top of them. But the rebate program that we're offering pays about 40% of that cost. So for every $5 you spend, we're gonna give you $2 back. More and more people in Southwestern Utah are getting rid of non-functional turf. New developments in this fast growing part of Utah are also more desert friendly in their landscaping. Since we started the program last year, we've had about 1.2 million square feet of conversion. That's saving us more than 50 million gallons of water every year, and that's going to be perpetually into the future. The Washington County Water Conservancy District does have some requirements. 50% living, living plant cover. So it can, people can choose shrubs and ground covers and so forth, but we strongly encourage that people uh, use trees because trees are able to, for example, shade a sidewalk, shade a building, shade a street. They offer tips and tricks to make any yard more water friendly while still looking nice. I'm afraid and sad to say, I think people really are attached to their lawns. It is, it's one of those things I think we wanted to be a showcase that a desert landscape can be beautiful. You can have a beautiful lush looking garden that's using a fraction of the water that your lawn would be using. Long says she gets a lot of compliments on her new yard. I had a ton of fun designing this and I think it turned out great and I'm happy to show it off. The Parade of Gardens will take place here in Washington County in September. Now, if you want to attend or you think your yard is worthy of showcasing, we've got a link for you to sign up at fox13now.com. In St. George, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.